Hi, my name is Adil Khan. I'm the founder of Magic School and a lifelong teacher and principal. Today, I want to walk you through our new Magic School for Students or Magic Student platform that is right alongside your tools as an educator that you use to help you in your work every day. And this tool is built to bring responsible AI to students. So I'll start by showing you right on your typical Magic School dashboard how you can explore the Magic Student tools. So before I actually want to launch these or give these to students on my educator dashboard, I'm going to go to this toggle at the top and I'm going to go click Magic Student. And I'm going to get to explore all of the different Magic Student tools as if I were a student so I can get to know them. I can see things like there's a student support chatbot that I can customize for a student's needs, a standards-based chatbot that can help them with the standard I'm teaching in class. Uh, students can create fun tongue twisters, maybe create a song in class customized to the subject that they're learning, interact with a character from a story they're reading, uh, get tutored by AI, get really amazing writing feedback on writing they're working on, informed by a rubric that you created. There's so many amazing ways to explore Magic Tool for students. And you just click on it, you can click an exemplar, and this is your opportunity to explore a tool. This is the five questions tool that pushes students to higher level thinking with uh, questions on the, sub the subject they're teaching or they're learning. Um, but you can explore any of the tools here. And when you're ready, you have some tools that really make sense for the lesson that you're teaching today that you wanna give to your students so they can use in a responsible way. Um, you'll click that launch to students button on the left sidebar. So I'm gonna do that now. I just click launch to students. And the first thing I see is all the rooms I've launched. I've used Magic Student a lot, so you'll see a lot of rooms here. But in this case, I wanna start by launching a new room to my students on the top right. And I'm gonna name this room Mr. Khan's class. And I taught ninth graders and the max students is how many students I want to allow into this room. I have about 35 students uh, max that I want into this room. So I'll click next. I'm going to select the tools that I want my students to use it for my class. I can select one tool, especially if I'm early and I want to introduce one tool at a time. You can do it this way. Um, I select the Adobe image generator because I want my students to be able to generate AI images for the assignment they're working on. Um, I'm going to click custom chat box. I want to like actually customize a chat bot and make it uh, really interesting for my students. The student support chat bot. And let's go with the, mm, let's go with the song generator. That'll be fun. Um, so now I've picked my tools uh, that I want to use and I'm going to click next. And this is where it gets interesting. You can make this really customized to your needs. You don't have to do these things. You can just launch them as is and let students start interacting with some of these tools. But when you wanna build something very specific for your students, I recommend that you customize each of the tools on this page. So you'll see customized tools at the top and then when you hover over any of the tools, you can customize them. Um, the image generator doesn't require customization because you're just letting them prompt images. But for any other tool on the platform, you can customize it. So um, the way that would look is, let's go to the custom chatbot tool, and you can customize just about everything in the tool, from the name of the tool to the description of the tool, where you might put directions, things like that for a student. Um, but let's say I wanna make a chatbot that is about um, the moon landing. So I'll call it moon landing chatbot. And uh, for my students, I'm gonna say, ask this chatbot, anything about the moon landing and then I can give instructions to the chatbot so it knows how to interact with my students uh, and I'm going to say only answer questions about the moon landing and push students to think how this was impactful for the United States during the historic period. And if I wanted to attach a PDF of additional knowledge, I could do that right here, um, but I'm not going to. On the right, you can see the moon landing chatbot um, and how it would look to students. In this case, the instructions for the chatbot are something I don't want the students to see. So I'm gonna click this eye icon to hide it. So the only things, and I don't want them to see the knowledge because I didn't attach any, so the only thing they'll see is the generate button so they can get started with the conversation and only and not modify the, the tool. Um, so I hit all the fields. Sometimes you might want to leave a field open, but in this case, I hid them all. Um, I'm going to go to generate and then actually, I'm sorry, when I click next, then I can test the tool to see it works the way that I want it to. So I'll click generate and 
It says, hey, I understand you want me to focus on the moon landing and its impact in that historic period. Feel free to ask any questions. I'm going to say, why was this important to the U.S.? And I can check, does that answer look like what I want it to for my students? Fantastic. Okay, this works. Um, so I'm done with this customization. I notice it's customized here. I can customize any of the other tools as well in the same exact way before I launch it, but I'm ready to launch the tool. So I'm gonna click Launch Room, and I will get a lot of different ways to share with my students. I can give them a QR code, um, or they can type this code in. Uh, I can add it to my Google Classroom. I can give them a join URL. Um, and just put it in their classwork assignment that I'm assigning them. In this case, I'm just going to copy that join URL and do that. Um, and when I give this to a student, they'll come to this page and they'll type their name in. I'm going to type mine in. And then they'll see those tools that I built. They'll get a, a great responsibility flag because we want them to know how to use Magic School responsibly right when they log in. They'll acknowledge that. And then they'll get started with their AI tools. On your end, um, while I don't have a sample class with me now, I want to show you uh, how it might look for you. So you will see all of your students and you'll be able to observe their conversations, their full output histories, um, what they've asked, what they haven't asked. You'll even get flagged with yellow flags in case they do something that maybe is not appropriate for school. Um, so you can see what they've done, address it, make sure that they're using this responsibly um, and moving on. Uh, and then you can also see things like, you know, the images they generated with the AI image generators. You can give them feedback on like, hey, were these images the ones that you really wanted to generate? How can you help them with their prompting to get what they really want? Um, in addition to just understanding how they're using it. Are they asking questions that you want them to ask? Um, are they prompting well? Um, and how is this helping enhance their learning? So you can see all of that on your side of the dashboard as your students are using the Magic School for Students tool. We can't wait to see all the ways that you use Magic School for, for students. Uh, we think this is going to revolutionize um, uh, the way that you think about uh, every one of your lessons. And we just can't wait to see how an educator paired with AI can really enhance the student learning process. And we know that you're going to use this in extraordinary ways.